everyone, welcome back. I'm Lynette with the Laurel County Public Library and today we're going to make stuffed peppers. Okay, so <clears throat> stuffed peppers can be as individual as you are. Okay, you want to start with your pepper. Um, some people cut them like this in a cup. Some people will slice them this way so that they kind of make a little boat. Either way is perfectly fine. If you're serving a larger crowd, you might want to slice them uh, that way, or if, you're, or if they're more of a side as opposed to being your main meal, then I would definitely suggest slicing them that way. What goes into your stuffed pepper as individual as you? I've looked at several different recipes and basically you want a meat component, fill it full of veggies, and then maybe some kind of grain. I'm using some minute rice tonight, so I'm going to fix it in the microwave. So I have one cup of the instant rice, one cup of water, and I'm going to grab a paper towel just to cover it with. I think it'll do just fine. We'll put it in the microwave for six minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that going. Okay, so while that's cooking, um, I'm going to, I'm going to use the tops of the peppers in the actual meat, okay? So I'm going to chop those up a little bit. Several recipes I've seen use um, zucchini as one of the meat fillers, especially if they use like ground chicken as the, as the filler. Um, so that would be really good. Like I say, just, just play with it. You can put whatever you want in here. Okay, so we'll put an onion in with my peppers to kind of get them chopped up a little bit. Okay. I've got some water in my steamer. It's starting to boil a little bit. I'm going to put these peppers in the steamer for just a few minutes. And what that'll do is it'll start to tenderize the pepper so that the cooking time won't be as much in the oven. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to put them in upside down. When Alina and I were doing lunches a few years ago, that was kind of a little trick I used that uh, it did kind of speed the process up. So I don't really like to boil the pepper. I know some people will take it and do a, a, a kettle of water and kind of blanch the pepper or actually let it boil for a few minutes. I like the steamed better. One thing, the color doesn't change as much. Okay, now I'm just kind of doing a rough chop on these. I think that'll be just fine. Okay. All right, so we're gonna come around here. And in the skillet, I've got a um, pound or so of hamburger meat. Okay, and I have put um, two garlic cloves. I've minced those. I've got salt and pepper on there. So I'm gonna add, let me grab a, let me grab a spatula thing here, Raina. All right. Peppers always smell so good when they're baking. So we're gonna let this brown up for a few minutes. I'll show you the other stuff that I'm gonna add into it. I'm gonna put a little, I'm going for kind of a Southwestern kind of theme here. So I'm gonna put some of this Southwestern dust. I found this over at Cornet's and I love it. I love it on everything. So far that I've tried it, it's been really good. I'm gonna put a few red pepper flakes not many, but just a few. Get a little, some ground cumin. Y'all know the story of that. I've got about four bottles of it, so I try to use it whenever I can. I may never use it all. Okay. The big thing is making sure that you have enough moisture, especially if you're gonna use a rice component. Even though that rice is cooked, it will kind of pull the moisture out. Uh, even as it's baking. So you want to make sure that you don't put these in dry. Okay, so we'll have plenty of moisture in there. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going, when my meat's kind of cooked up a little bit, I'm going to add, this is a six ounce can of tomato paste and about a cup and a half of water. Peppers are so in season right now. Get out to your farmer's market. You can get them so fresh. They're so good. Um, stuffed peppers will freeze too. If you've never done that, they will freeze really, really well. So if you've got time right now, go ahead and make you some. And then on a busy day, you're set. You don't have to worry about what you're gonna eat. Look at these. All right, they're just starting to steam up a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna finish browning this up. Go check back with us in just a couple of minutes and we'll add the rest of the stuff to it. Okay, guys, we've got it steaming up over here real good. Uh, the peppers are starting to get a little tender. The meat is cooked enough that um, I'm gonna start adding stuff. Now, let me tell you, as I've told you all before, we get our meat. Uh, my father-in-law is good enough to supply us with fresh meat. And there is a little bit of fat in here, but not much. I'm not even gonna bother draining it um, because, let me just set that off, because I'm gonna need that um, to help, you know, cook up the pepper and keep everything good moist and stuff in there. So, I'm gonna add this tomato paste. And my uh, rice is done. Yeah. Everything's steaming over here. I don't know. I don't want to get burnt. Let's hope I don't. Okay, so that's good. And I'm going to add this cup and a half of water. That'll calm stuff down a little bit. And I'm going to add a can of black beans. Because again, I'm kind of going for that southwestern look. Now, I would normally probably put some corn in there as well, but I'm doing corn as a side dish tonight. So I'm like, I don't want corn and corn. So we're just gonna leave the corn out of it this time. But corn is a really good thing to use in stuffed peppers. Okay, so I'm gonna add the rice and then I'll see if I need to add more water. Mmm, that's gonna look good. I think I might stir, stir, stir. Might need a little bit, but we'll see. Now, I will not need all of this filling, obviously, uh, because I'm just doing three peppers. It's just, just three of us here tonight. So I'm gonna save the meat that I don't use, and tomorrow night, I'm gonna take it and make like a, a southwestern um, tater tot casserole. So I'm gonna get a couple of meals out of this meat. So that's always good. So just keep that in mind. It really don't take a whole lot to, to fill up the peppers. Now something that you have to have is cheese. You can't, in my opinion, you cannot have a stuffed pepper without having some cheese. So let me grab some cheese out here. I'm going to start assembling these. Clear off my mess a little bit. I could make a mess really well. Okay. Ooh. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, so see, these just... Here, Lina, I'll move it over here so that it'll be a little... We're just flipping and flopping tonight, guys. We're sorry. We're on the struggle bus. Actually, I'm off of all buses. Friday was my official last day at school, so I don't do buses anymore. Oh, happy day. All right, so, oh, this is gonna be a good feeling. A good, good feeling, I love it. And like I say, gonna be plenty left for tomorrow. That's gonna be wonderful. Okay. 
now. Get on in there. See how those are just tender enough that it'll just speed up that cooking process. So I'm gonna start loading them up. Mm. Good, good, good stuff. I think there's gonna be just enough liquid in there that um, as those peppers kind of continue to cook a little bit, I don't think they're gonna dry out at all. I think it'll be really good. We're gonna eat it. Doesn't matter if it's good or not, we're gonna eat it. Okay, so I've got them, got them covered. Put that cheese on there. Mmm, huh, so that's good. Now, I want the, the pan itself to have some form of liquid in it just to kind of keep it from drying out. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. If I can find, well, can't find my ketchup. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this instead. Just gonna put a little bit of salsa in here. Just anything with a tomato base, cause that works real good with peppers. Add that flavor. Okay, I'm just gonna pour that right in. Just to kinda keep them from drying out because you do not want that, okay? But I, I'm telling you that steaming them a little bit beforehand does help with that. I don't know why, but it just does. Okay, I'm gonna cover them with foil. I don't, I'm not going to cover real tight. I don't want that cheese on the top to stick to the foil and come off. I'm just going to cover it loosely. I'm going to give them about 25 to 30 minutes in the oven on 350, and they're going to be set and ready to go. So check back with us in a little bit. Okay, guys, welcome back. These peppers have just come out of the oven. They smell so good. Oh, I wish you could smell them. Lina, zoom in here. You can see that that cheese is melty melted and you know the the moisture that from the tomatoes that we put in there it has helped to keep everything uh, from drying out they just look delicious we're ready to dive into these so i hope that you will get out get you some good fresh peppers make you some stuffed peppers remember you can freeze them for later on and let me know how you like them all right we'll see you next time